Good morning. Our topic for today is the hypergeometric distribution. The probability that an n-trial hypergeometric experiment results in exactly r successes when the population consists of n items, m of which are classified as successes. For our hypergeometric formula, suppose a population consists of n items, m of which are successes, and a random sample drawn from the population consists of n items, r of which are successes. So this is our formula. You have there, okay, m c r times n minus m c n minus r divided by n c n. Okay, so for this one, n, the capital letter n, is the number of items in the population. Then m is the number of items in the population that are classified as successes. And then n, small letter n, is the number of items in the sample. R is the number of items in the sample that are classified as successes. And MCR, it represents the number of combinations of M things taken R at a time. Okay? So, for the mean and variance of hypergeometric probability distribution, mu is equal to N times M over N. Or sometimes this is referred to as P or the probability of success. For the variance, we can compute that by using this formula. You have N times M times N minus M times n minus n over n squared times n minus 1. Okay. So, for our first example, a batch of 10 rocker cover gaskets contains 4 defective gaskets. If we draw sample size of 3 without replacement from the batch of 10, find the probability that a sample contains 2 defective gaskets. Okay. So, again, we have a batch of 10 rocker cover gaskets, contains 4 defective gaskets. If we draw sample size of 3 without replacement from the batch of 10, find the probability that a sample contains 2 defective gaskets. Okay, so we have there 10 rocker cover gaskets, 4 defective gaskets. We have the sample size of 3 from a batch of 10, find the probability that the sample contains two defective gaskets so what do we need to find the probability of r is equal to two so using the formula we have there the probability of r is equal to two is equal to so this two refers to the two defective gaskets so how many defective gaskets do we have we have four so we have there four c two times okay so if Four are defective. How many were left in the 10 rocker cover gaskets? We have six. So times, if two are defective gaskets from the sample size of three, how many were left? So we have here one. So divided by, we have four plus six. We have a total of 10. That is for the 10 rocker cover gaskets. C we have how many is our sample size sample size we have there two plus one okay that is three okay so we have here four c two times six c one divided by ten c three this gives us zero point three okay then next another example in the manufacture of car tires a particular production process is known to yield 10 tires with defective walls in every batch of 100 tires produced. From a production batch of 100 tires, a sample of 4 is selected for testing to destruction. Again, in the manufacture of car tires, a particular production process is known to yield 10 tires with defective walls in every batch of 100 tires produced. So, from a production batch of 100 tires, a sample of 4 is selected for testing to destruction. Okay. So, what are our given values? We have here uh, 10 tires with defective walls in every batch of 100 tires produced. Then, we have here 
a sample size of 4. Okay, so the first problem is find the probability that the sample contains one defective tire. Okay, so we need to find the probability that the sample contains one defective tire. So you have there P of R is equal to 1 is equal to what? So we have here defective tire. How many defective tires do we have? We have 10 defective tires. So we have there 10 C1 times if 10 tires are defective, how many were left from the batch of 100 tires? We have there 90 C. Okay, so how many is our sample? Or how many are our samples? We have there a sample size of 4. So if 1 is defective, how many were left? You have there 3. Okay, so divided by, we have there a total of 100 C and a total of four for the sample this is our n the sub the pop the, the population the total then this is our small letter n okay our sample okay so from this we have 10 c1 times 90 c3 over 100 c4 it gives us 0 0.2996 okay so next is we need to compute for the expectation or the expected number of defectives okay so what we are referring to is the mean which is equal to n times m over n which is equal to what we have our n our sample is four times what is our defective terms or m we have there 10 divided by 100 okay so this is from there here uh, this and this is from okay this okay so this gives us 0 0.4 okay so again we have there mu is equal to n times m over n our m this 10 is this one and our m 100 is this one okay so we have there 0 0.4 next is the variance of the number of defectives okay so again using the formula okay our variance is equal to we have 4 times 10 times 100 minus 10 times 100 minus 4 divided by we have 100 squared times 100 minus 1 okay so this is equal to what 0 0.3491 that is our variance okay mm -hmm. next is okay for our third example we have here a deck of cards contains 20 cards six red cards and 14 black cards five cards are ra are drawn randomly without replacement what is the probability that exactly four red cards are drawn Okay, so for this problem, again, a deck of cards contains 20 cards, 6 red cards, and 14 black cards. 5 cards are drawn randomly without replacement. What is the probability that exactly 4 red cards are drawn? So we are what? Com we need to compute for the probability of R is equal to 4 red cards. Okay, so we have their probability of 4 red cards okay so for this one we have how many red cards do we have we have a six okay so we have there six c4 times if we have 20 cards how many were left we have 14 14 black cards c how many were left in our sample our sample is five if four are red how many were left we have one divided by what is our total? We have there 20C5. Okay? So, what is our probability of four red cards? We have there 0 0.0135. Okay? Then, for our fourth example, okay? Suppose a researcher goes to a small college of 200 faculty. 
12 of which have blood type O negative. She obtains a simple random sample of 10 of the faculty. Let the random variable X represent the number of faculty in the sample size that, the, that have blood type O negative. So what is the probability that 3 of the faculty have blood type O negative? Again, suppose a researcher goes to a small college of 200 faculty. 12 of which have blood type O negative. She obtains a simple random sample of 10 of the faculty. Let the random variable X represent the number of faculty in the sample size that have blood type O negative. So what is the probability that R at uh, that 3 of the faculty have blood type O negative? Okay, so we have here 200 faculty. 12 of which have blood type O negative. We have a random sample of 10. Okay? Then, we need to find the probability of 3 of the faculty have blood type O negative. So, we have there, the probability of R is equal to 3 is equal to. We have how many faculty members have blood type O negative? We have there, 12. So, we have here 12, C, again, 3, okay? times if 12 of the faculty members have blood type o negative how many were left okay or how many are not we have here 200 minus 12 we have 188 c okay so we 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 uh, or she gathered a simple random sample of 10. If 3 of the faculty have a blood type O negative, how many were left? Or how many were left in the sample? We have there 7. Okay, divided by, we have 200 C 10. Okay? So, what is the probability of R or X is equal to 3? We have there 0 0.0144. One, okay. Then, for our fifth problem or fifth example, okay, a box of twenty marbles contains fifteen blue and five red. You need to draw a lot of ten marbles at random. Find the probability of drawing six blue marbles in the lot drawn. Okay, again. A box of 20 marbles contains 15 blue and 5 red. You need to draw a lot of 10 marbles at random. Find the probability of drawing 6 blue marbles in the lot drawn. Okay, so in our problem or in our example, we have there a box of 20 marbles. It contains 15 blue and 5 red. We have drawn 10 marbles. Okay. So we need to find the probability of drawing blue 6 marbles. Okay. So we have here the probability of R is equal to 6 blue marbles. Okay. So from this, we have how many blue marbles do we have? 15. So we have there 15 C, 6 times... Okay, so in 20 marbles, if 15 are blue, how many were left? We have 5. So we gathered how many samples? We have 10. If 6 are blue, how many were left? We have 4. So there, we have 20 C, 10. Okay, so what is the probability of R is equal to 6? We have there 0 0.1354. Okay. Then, next, we have, okay, the sixth and the last example. We have a public accounts committee of five persons to be set out of 12 members from ruling party and eight members from opposition party. What is the probability of three members from opposition party is selected? Okay, so again, a public accounts committee of five persons to be set out of 12 members from ruling party and eight members from opposition party. What is the probability of three members of opposition party is selected?
Okay, so what are our given values? We have there a committee of five persons. From, we have 12 members from the ruling party and eight members from the opposition party. We need to find the probability of three members of opposition party. Okay, so we have here probability of R is equal to three. From where? From the opposition party. We have, so... How many members are from the opposition party? We have 8. So, that will be 8C3 times, okay? So, we have there 12 from the ruling party. So, 12C, how many were left in our sample of 5? So, if 3 is from the opposition party, we have there 2 divided by a total of, we have 12 plus 8, 20C3. For uh, three, ta uh, 3 plus 2 or the 5, 5 persons, we have there 5. So this is equal to what? We have 0 0.2384. Okay? So that 